Are we ready? Yep. Yep. I think so. <laughs> Traction control off. That's always a good one. Tires are down. We are ready to do this. So for the record, 14 PSI in the front, 25 in the back of the cruiser, 20 in the van. And I know that doesn't sound low enough, but the tires look flat. There's so much bloody weight on the back of this thing. So if I get bogged, it's because I didn't let him down far enough. But we'll see. I've had rain leading up to this, so it looks pretty damn easy, actually. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Inskip Point is notorious for getting bogged. Check out the Facebook page, I Got Bogged at Inskip, and you'll see what we mean. Just tyre pressures, guys. Like, that's really not that hard. All that stuff you see on I got bogged at Inskip, yeah, it's just let your tyres down. I'm not trying to sound like a smart ass, but that, mm. that's I just tried it and it worked. Yeah, it's all good. Nice. Mind you, we still got a long way to go, so I could get bogged yet. Thanks, mate. Gari experience is going to start on the western side, camping at Awinya Creek. First, we have to travel up the eastern side beach, approximately 50 kilometres, to get to the Warralee access track, and uh, it's a long, slow journey just in itself. definitely be better uh, yeah it's a bit wet here today but it's clearing so hopefully we get some nice warm days ahead but we are super pumped to be here at Fraser Island aren't we kids yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we've had some really early starts over the last two days um, so we're really looking forward to just unwinding kicking back and enjoying our time here
<laughs> Having fun? Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> more legs, mate. And it wasn't long until we were bogged. A quick snatch had us on our way again. Didn't break anything, no harm done, and it's all part and parcel of towing a van on the beach. So it was time to start heading across Warralee Road access track. This is where it was going to be quite challenging with the van and with the boat on top of the ute, I was really cautious about, you know, being easy on the car and the van. Take it easy guys, don't break anything because that can really ruin your trip. We had a good mate come across from the other side of the island help escort us across as we were new to this track. He knew the track quite well, so I really appreciate your help there mate. What an epic drive it was, we really enjoyed this part of it. So it's a good little track, eh? Yeah, this is the easy bit. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> anything bigger anyway I mean, not through here no what we've got on the back is would be the limit it's achievable but it's uh yeah it's you just can't you can't get stuck into it in the soft stuff because it's so bumpy like i'll be honest i'm worried more about the ute with the boat on top and the chassis doing this Oof, i don't like that so it's just been been able to go slow enough that's the problem and uh, down here we go Bobby. and um yeah, like coming back up this on the way back, it'll be. <sighs> then we're going into rainforest where it's a bit curvy, a bit tight, but uh, quite beautiful. Yes, I was talking about the rainforest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a tour guide and funny. <laughs> That's my only joke. <laughs> Something to keep in mind that a lot of these tracks are single lane, meaning you do have to pull over for oncoming vehicles, which is a little trickier when you're towing a van. There are enough pullover spaces that we never really got ourselves into too much drama, but it is something to keep in mind and it does make the going a bit slow. Hey, get on, hey. Hey.
We camped at Awinya Creek, which is just one of many of the beautiful beach camps on the western side. You can only get here at low tide as you have to cross the creek itself. But what an absolutely stunning spot. Well, we brought the boat this far. It was about bloody time we used it and uh, what an amazing morning on the water it turned out to be. My track record of fishing is pretty terrible, but there was a better reason to get the boat in the water that morning and it's something that we will never forget. Snooze wheels. Yeah. It's amazing. We're just floating on top there, sleep. <laughs> you talk whale.
you had fun, Harps? This is a good camp, darling. It is. It's pretty special, isn't it? It's probably the best beach I've been to. Best beach ever. Big call. So just saying, I think this is my favorite beach that I've ever been to. Seriously, I've, we've never been to a better beach camp than this one. It's crystal clear water, shells everywhere, the widest sand you've ever seen. And to be honest, it's pretty quiet and it's school holidays, so it nails it for us. Awesome. <laughs> it is that time though and we really need to put the boat back on. Yep. It's gonna be a mission. Time to head to the east side, but definitely come here, have a camp on the beach. Can't get better than this. It's just stunning. So we're heading over to the eastern side of Gari. First, we've got to get through the inland track and we've got to wait for the tide to go down. That is a real consideration on Gari uh, and any sand island really is pay attention to the tides. And if you think it's too deep, it probably is. So make a coffee and just wait for it to go down because once you're stuck, you are, you're stuck and it's salt water. So uh, coffee time and then head across the inland track. Hopefully we make it without getting bogged this time. So see how we go.